the big breaking news coming in from the Supreme Court, a split verdict on the hijab issue, on the hijab row. Both justices were of divergent opinions and it will now go uh, to a higher, uh, uh, larger bench. It will be taken before the Chief Justice and taken to a larger bench. So uh, let's take you through all the details. The petitions challenging the Karnataka hijab ban have led to a split verdict in the Supreme Court. Justice Heman Gupta dismissed the petitions. He was in favor of dismissing the petitions against the Karnataka uh, uh, judgment of uh, Karnataka High Court uh, judgment upholding the hijab ban, while uh, Justice Sudhan Shudhulia was in uh, favor of allowing uh, the petitions. Uh, he said it's ultimately a matter of choice and nothing else. Uppermost in my ma mind was education of the girl child, and I respectfully disagree with my brother judge. So for the moment, no verdict in the hijab ban issue from the Supreme Court. It's going to carry on longer. We're going. It's going to go and be argued now uh, before a three judge bench of the Supreme Court, an extremely emotive issue in Karnataka. It started from Karnataka, from the Udupi district, where uh, five girls refused to go uh, enter their classrooms if they weren't allowed to wear the hijab, leading to the February uh, decision of the Karnataka government banning hijabs in schools or any sort of you know religious outfit or anything that creates any kind of differences in the school. And uh, now the matter then going finally to the Supreme Court. And today the split verdict coming uh, from the Supreme Court with justice. Uh, Gupta in favor of uh, dismissing the petitions against the uh, Karnataka High Court verdict while uh, Justice Sudhan Shudhulia was in favor of allowing them saying ultimately it's a matter of choice and that for him uh, the main issue was the education of girls and uh, that is what was, what was uppermost in his mind. I'm going to go across to my colleague Srija who joins us from Odupi. Uh, Srija over to you reactions to this uh, split verdict. Well, we have seen right now from uh, reporting from this very college, the epicenter where the protests broke out. And this is the very location where the petitioners, you know, the first petitioners uh, uh, had uh, uh, spoken about how especially they're not being allowed to wear the hijab and they had to, they were forcefully, uh, you know, made to miss the classes but now the situation is normal as far as uh, you know the um, uh, city Udupi city is concerned because this is the very city that had reported violent uh, uh, you know clashes and also especially the confrontation uh, between the uh, hijab clad uh, students and also saffron uh, clad students but uh, right now uh, the SP also tells uh, uh, us that um, you know uh, the situation is normal if I could go across to Mr. Akshay the SP here uh, could you 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 have seen the uh, hijab verdict come out, right? It's a split verdict. But uh, in anticipation of this verdict today, were there any preventive arrests that were made, keeping in mind that it could lead to protests? No, no preventive arrests were done. We have okay. taken certain precautionary measures. Okay. So police deployment has been done in important areas. Our officers are on patrolling. We are in touch with the school development authority and their principals. Same with the college development authorities and the principals. Any issues they have, they need our support, will be there. Outside the schools and colleges, we are maintaining tight vision. Okay. We will make sure that no anti-social elements will take opportunity take this opportunity to hamper right. the peace okay uh, when you say precautionary measures that is sensing trouble there could be trouble what are those precautionary measures you're talking about that's all right we have deployment okay. in and around important areas our officials around rounds and patrolling and we are in touch with the authorities okay also uh, you know we hear this this particular college has declared a holiday for students is it the same uh, situation across uh, Udupi as well since you're overseeing these uh, operations I think this is the continuation of the Dashara holidays it yes. is not in the context of uh, any specific incident or event I think the Dashara holidays are continuing all right thank you that was uh, Mr. Akshay the SP uh, telling us and who's overseeing the entire uh, you know the uh, security operations as you see on to my right if I could give you uh, you know a fair idea there are police officers who have been stationed right outside this Udupi college now this is the epicenter of the protest the entire confrontation that we had with witness that is the cascading effect that it had in the neighboring colleges as well so as far as uh, the split verdict is concerned
concerned. We, uh, you know, we are yet to hear from especially Mr. Raghupati, but the MLA, he was very vociferous about the fact that, you know, it also comes under his constituency. It also comes under because he is also the vice president of this also very college. Uh, he was very vociferous of the fact that uh, hijab should not be allowed. Those girls should not especially attend the classes. He was very vociferous. He was very vocal. We also had uh, Mr. Yashpal Suwarna also talking about especially uh, how, uh, you know, hijab should not be allowed. So the reactions, it is only now that we, you know, it's just a short while ago we went on to see how there was a divergence of opinion uh, between both the justices. But uh, we are yet to hear from the very leaders who had vehemently opposed especially wearing of hijab inside the educational institutions. All right, let's go across uh, to Sunil Prabhu now, who joins us uh, from the Supreme Court. And Sunil, uh, before I go across, uh, back to my guests, if you could take us through what happened in the Supreme Court, a split verdict, and now it's going to go to a larger bench. That's right, uh, Gargi. The uh, uh, first inkling of a split verdict came when they said, uh, when the uh, cause list uh, uh, showed uh, that there'll be two separate judgments. And uh, uh, then, of course, uh, Justice Hemant Gupta uh, framing 11 questions and then upholding uh, the Karnataka High Court uh, and agreeing uh, with them on the main point uh, of uh, the, uh, 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 you know, uh, banning the uh, uh, hijab ban uh, in, in that context. Uh, of course, uh, then uh, uh, Justice Sudanshu uh, Dulia uh, uh, allowing all the appeals and setting aside the judgment of the Karnataka High Court, uh, saying that the main thrust of my judgment is the entire concept of essential religious practice uh, which was not essential uh, to this dispute and he felt that the High Court took a wrong path and it is ultimately a matter of choice under Article 14 and 19. He also said uh, very categorically that it's a matter of choice, nothing more, nothing less and then went on to say uh, that the foremost question for him was the education of the girl child, are we making life any better? That was a question in my mind and that's the reason uh, for why he squashed the order. Now, with two divergent opinions, uh, it's gone to the Chief Justice, uh, which in all likelihood will send it to a three-judge bench uh, uh, to decide on this entire issue. So, uh, definitely uh, an important day uh, for the uh, uh, Supreme Court, where there have been two brother judges uh, really splitting in terms of uh, their judgments, uh, and uh, when there was no consensus. Uh, in it. And for those who have been following the case, especially lawyers, uh, the divergence of views uh, had been there uh, right from the time when the hearing took place uh, with the line of questioning uh, by Justice Hemant Gupta as well as Justice Dulia. So uh, definitely uh, now the matter uh, has been sent to the Chief Justice of India who will then uh, you know, constitute an appropriate branch and then this matter will be raised. Uh, politically, of course, uh, this means that this will go into the back burner. Elections are due in Karnataka next year uh, and this will take some time uh, before uh, this matter can be heard uh, definitely not ahead of the election process.